What is going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. I'm over here. I'm I'm a total shrimp. Check me out. Oh, and there's there's the poop. As usual, was that me or was that was that you, Oompa Loompa? Anyway, we are back for another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved server. We have a new community center, as you can see over there. It's super cool. Everything's all fixed up and ready. We've got somebody else's bird over here. We've got a lot of stuff that I've had stored here that I was building up, putting materials there. Because we were planning on starting our little Poop City base right here. And uh, we've changed our mind. So we're going to move it somewhere else. And uh, I've already gotten started on it. But I just want to show you guys the little community center we have here. They just built this today, which actually would be probably a week ago. Because I am like backed up on ARC videos, because I've been doing a ton of. Was that. Was that. Oompa Loompa? You just crapped in the brand new community center? What, what's wrong? You don't like it? I think it's great. I think it's super awesome. Anyway, so uh, I was over here and Corrales was on this morning, and uh, I told him to come over and, you know, help us out, because these building materials in this game are not exactly they're not yet fine-tuned let's just call it let's just call it fine-tuned um, as you can see it's it's not exactly like minecraft but I think they're gonna have some improvements but um, it takes a whole lot of work to get the blocks or not the blocks the items you know like the roofs and the walls and stuff to kind of act how you want them to. And as you can see, like pretty much every house in this place has some kind of platform or it's built up on pillars and stuff like that. And the reason for that is because you can't really build, you can't really just connect any block to one another uh, that you want. Uh, you can't just, you know, slap down, those flat things are actually ceilings. You can't just flat, you know, put those down because the ground is not even, and they won't lay flat, and they won't connect to each other, and uh, it's just a lot different. So for those of you who uh, know me for my Minecraft videos and uh, are interested in this game, definitely um, I, I will hopefully give you guys some useful tips. And uh, and there's we've got Slip Gator's house over there. See how it's on stilts, basically? It's because you know the land isn't flat. Not all blocks really work the way you'd expect them to. But anyway, let's just get started. Let's take you... I've been hiding that back corner over there because we've moved... We've been moving over there. I'm going to... I'm going to switch here because I don't want to see it yet. I'm shy. Nope. I have been uh, working on a little house over here. And I started... You know, I started working on it. And I didn't want to get too far ahead without starting to record because I know you guys love to see this stuff. So, uh, anyway, back to Corrales stopping by, you know, he's like, dude, go build over by the lake. What are you building way over in the corner all by your lonesome? And, you know, I agreed with him, really. I think I just chose that plot because I didn't want to get anybody's way when I first joined the server and all that, uh, which was, I guess, a few weeks ago. But, you know, hey, there's room around here, around the lake, and this whole area hasn't been taken except that hilltop for a community project. But, uh, so Kraus came over and he helped me start this platform. So as you can see, we've got our little pillars down there. We've got our little stone pillars holding up the fort. You know, it's a nice flat, uh, just wood ceilings on stone pillars. Now, I messed up a little, uh, pillar thing. I was having trouble, and here's an example of, of some things that don't really work, kind of like Minecraft here on Ark, where... Sometimes, like, see how these pillars right here are not coming out of the ground or coming out of the ceiling, and these pillars right here are? Luckily, you can just walk over them. You don't, they don't, like, impede your walking. You don't have to walk around them or anything. But if you snap them, if you snap them, like, connect them to the pillar over here, it's supposed to be at the same level. And for some reason, they weren't connecting, and they were just too high. And, uh... I kind of decided to leave them that way, but we may we may switch them out later. The problem is is that this whole thing might collapse if we, you know, if we start tearing down these blocks. Like if I break this ceiling block, I don't know if this whole gate is gonna fall down and get destroyed. So I'm thinking we're just gonna leave that there. 
So as you can see, there's a platform and we have this big gigantic gate, which is kind of odd, but I think it makes a really good, ooh, see? We're supposed to be able to push E and close the gate, but I just hopped off my bird and I could have died if I had been really high up in the air, which has happened before. <laughs> but anyway, we have this gate here and uh, we have this kind of symmetry going along where we have these two high stacked windows, or actually these are door frames, stone door frames packed up, and then we have a ceiling right here, and uh, I kind of like this because once I'm done in here, I want to be able to just sit back, check out the view, look out, check out the lake, sip some coffee, you know what I mean, and uh, I just really like the idea of having this gate here. So I need to make some stone ceilings, which Crafting's a little weird in this game, so, you know, you need to kind of get all your materials on your person first. And maybe I need some thatch, fiber, I don't know. Um, I, could, I might become encumbered, which means I can't move. But if I'm going into this crafting menu here, uh, let's see, we have stone ceilings. I have enough material for four stone ceilings, so I'll go ahead and start crafting those. And then what I like to do is come down here to my leftover inventory and dump it back in over here because in this game, different than Minecraft obviously, uh, your inventory can be full but also you can be too heavy to walk. Uh, and if we can't walk then we can't run away from all the things that are trying to kill us which is everything. <laughs> which is what makes this game so fun. Did I just... what did I just do? Stone ceiling. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to build like a little roof here. And let's see, we're going to build it here and here. Yeah, we need a little shade. This sun is bright, man. Oh, but isn't that, isn't that great? Look at all this, this beautiful ambiance. Um, and the cool thing about up there is we can have this as a platform where we can, we can maybe land our pteranodons up there on the roof. And then maybe in the center, we can land our big bird over here, Oompa Loompa. Um, the other thing is once I get uh, some bigger animals, like maybe T-Rexes and Brontosauruses, if I need to stop by the base, I can just park them right up front here. I don't know if a Tyrannosaurus is tall enough, but maybe over here on the corner. And then the Brontosaurus can fit right in front here, and we can just hop off and uh, hop into our front door off the deck here, and that'll be, like, perfect. So I'm digging this. Um, I'm going to make a few more blocks. I'm going to mess around, um, try to get this thing, keep it, you know, fairly symmetrical, I think. I think it's going to be a symmetrical building um, until we put some final touches on it and stuff. Okay, we're back. And would you check out this sunrise here, that beautiful sky, looking out our front window. Oh, it's just nice. I like it. All right, so let me show you what I've done here. I have put um, some more stone ceilings. <laughs> Uh, over these blocks over here, or blah, <laughs> blocks, whatever, these uh, stone ceilings over these areas, and then what I've done over here to wall this off, I have two walls there, and then two uh, stone windows as well. Now, to put the ceilings up there, it's going to be a little tricky, so I could either jump up, which may or may not work, if I don't click quick enough, who knows if that's going to work, should I try it? Okay, so that worked, but another cool thing you can do, I went over and grabbed my pteranodon because it's easier to maneuver around and stuff, but um, let me see if I can stop here. Now, I'll get another stone ceiling out, and wouldn't you know, I was out of ceilings, <laughs> so um, I made some more real quick. Now, let's see. let's see if we can get down there and place this correctly. <laughs> All right, this is going to be tough. So if I can stop my bird in the correct place, I should be able to place this. Okay, it looks like we're going to have a little hole in our ceiling, but I'm okay with that. It's not It's not noticeable, really. We might notice some sunlight coming through, but hey, who wants a totally dark house? Uh, let me try to land here. All right, sorry, I got a phone call. Um, had to shut off the phone, but let's try to place a couple more here as well. Whoa, I don't want to jump off my bird. I push space. See, that's where you can mess up in this game. If you push E while you're flying, you're pretty much dead meat. 
All right, let's place another ceiling there. And an another one. Oh, no. See, that one snapped. And that one. Oh, see, th that's, that's the problem I'm having with building at the moment. So um, let me see where I can park my bird, where I can access that, bl that, that ceiling. Um, all right. So I need to stone ceiling. Can I reach the stone? Nope, that's the wall. How do I... How do I reach that ceiling to destroy it? To demolish it? Ugh. Yeah. Oh, why don't I just park up here? <laughs> Derp. And, ooh, I almost fell off. Alright, so anyway, there goes some wasted blocks. Can I... Can I not destroy this thing? There we go. Stone ceiling demolish. Wait. Demolish. Alright, so I got a few stones back, as you can see, but <laughs> I didn't get them all back. So basically, a lot of those blocks were wasted. Now, I think what I need to do here is snap it to this one. Yes. Okay, so we want, we want this little sliver of sunlight to be in the same place on both, both sides. So anyway, uh, like I said, building is... Oh, and I'm heavy because I picked up all those blocks. Um, I think you get about 50% of your materials back when you break something. So anyway, we're going to have a little sliver of light coming through the ceiling, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I think it actually looks kind of cool. All right, we're back, and uh, I think I've made a lot of progress here. So I've got um, I've got this gigantic. This is not a behemoth wall. That's a behemoth wall or gate. Um, got another little stone gate over here, which is still pretty big, same as the the one in the front. Um, got this wall on the side. Now the way this is going to work is, let's say we have a brontosaurus or a paraceramus, whatever, <laughs> uh, coming over here. You can park up here, hop off, come in the house. Uh, same thing over here. Uh, wait, not on this. Uh, over on this deck over here, we can have a mammoth or, you know, something not too huge. Um, I think if we had a Baronosaurus or something, we'd have to park it out front here because it'd be so tall. Uh, but that would work there. And this side is a little bit different because what I have upstairs is... Uh, oh... I've got my little bedroom set up upstairs. Let me close the door. Got to make sure I take care of business over here. So I got a little bedroom up here and uh, slanted, slanted ceiling closing off. So here's a balcony. I could park a bird here. Got a little door, slanted roof. Um, I'm going to give you an aerial bird bird's eye tour in a second once I show you all the inside stuff. But got a little bed, a um, little hatch door, which I don't really need to close, but I can just leave that there. If I'm feeling scared, I can lock myself in. <laughs> and what I did in the back is something I think is going to be really cool. Because uh, let's say you come back with a huge load of something on a mammoth, like wood or stone on a bird or whatever. You need to be able to unload that like really close to your animal. So I added this little window back here. And I'm going to put, let's see if I have, I think I, I made a bunch of stuff. I think um, I should have some walls thought I had some walls. Let me see real quick. Uh, there they are. So, need to put a couple walls up here. We're going to close this off. We're going to slap this over here. Slappy, slappy. Uh, why is this not connecting? Oh, can I not hang this out in the middle of nowhere? I hope I can. Oh, maybe I need to put the ceilings up first. Let me, let me see if that is the problem. Let's see, um, we need to slap a ceiling up there. 
And then do I have another one? Yeah, so slap a second ceiling there. Now hopefully the wall will snap now. Let's see, snap. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna push E to switch it. That is the correct way, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. Slap it. Slap you. Slap you down there. And then what I can do is actually put a second level of storage over here. Um, let's see, how do I line this up? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a seventh one over here, but I need to get rid of that because uh, looks like I can only really fit six in the window area. Um, let's see, should I just put it as far back as I possibly can? I don't know. I guess that'll work. Let's see, right there. Let's see, did I line it up? Oh, it's a little bit far, but no big, no big deal. Anyway, so let's say we come up to the window with a big animal full of stuff. We can turn around, get into the inventory, turn around back here, put it into the chest, you know, all that. Be really easy to deal with. I don't have to worry about people on the server stealing my stuff or anything crazy like that. And, you know, unless an accident happens, we shouldn't get any, like, T-Rex coming in and, you know, destroying stuff. Um, but we do have, we have stone walls under here. We've got stone walls up here. So there's really only a small area. I mean, of course, I don't know if they can... I, I guess they would damage the chest, but I don't I don't expect anything crazy like that happening and if it does well, you know, hey, I guess I lose all my stuff it's Happened before right? All right, let's give you guys another fly around tour here So we are right in front of there see on the right. There's the, um, the Slanted roof above my bedroom. My bedroom is like right right there on the right um, we've got the the benches and the ladders as the windows. I think that looks really cool I like how that turned out let me see if I can park my big bird up here. All right, so what we need to do, I think I want to do the same thing that uh, I did on the other side. So um, I'm going to have to break these ceilings. Let's see, demolish. I hate I hate wasting this stuff, but, you know, um, as you see, we do get, like, half the resources back. Um, I'm going to have to put a slanted... Uh, thing right here. I'm not sure if that's the correct one right or left. Let's see. How do I How do I know which way to do it? Let's see E would switch it. Which side would the wood be on? That side um, That's not what I want Oh that side I need a wall so I would need I would need the slanted roof over here. Okay. I've got an idea. I know what I'm going to do. So I did make some window frames, which put here. Let's see. Put here, here, and up there. And then I can put the slanted sloped roof. I have left and right. All right. So I fixed, uh, I fixed a little of this up. Um, I wasn't recording for a second there. Um, so what I've added, I think, since uh, just a second ago was um, these three windows and then the slanted roof, which is the stone, slope stone wall right. Um, and now what I'll be able to do, hopefully I still have all the correct, um, yeah, I had some ceilings where I actually needed sloped uh, roof. And I should be able to snap these. Oh, they're looking like they're gonna snap. Is that right? Yeah, these are awkward. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I want. All right, so we're going to hopefully get this one to snap right next to it. There we go. It's a little tough sometimes. Um, am I going to be able to fit through here with a door? So I want to put a door out here. Actually, I don't really need a door because it's going out to open air like this is open air so I really kind of want to put just some more windows there instead of uh, anything let's hop in Oompa Loompa and take a peek what's going on let's see yeah there we go so that looks that looks nice I like it and we can put walls or windows there um, I think I'll put windows just to keep the sunlight and everything coming through um, 
yeah. And then, so all this will be open air. So let's just take our little birdie through. We can just park him in here. Whoa, this is odd. Um, close the door. Yeah, you can just hang out here, Oompa Loompa. That's cool. But yeah, I hope you guys like the house so far. It actually turned out much better than I expected because, as you know, um, the building materials here, you know, they're tough to work with, but once you, once you kind of get used to them, they're actually, I mean, they're not that bad. I think this house turned out super cool. Aside from, I still need to put some windows there, but once I do that, it's going to look super awesome. So, uh, we'll be able to park something here on this side. We'll be able to park something here on this side. And then, of course, if we get a Brano or something, we'll be able to park it right up front here in front to show off. How tall are they? That is just about the perfect height, I would say. So, yeah, this house is coming along very nicely. I like it. So um, that is it for today, people. If you want to see more and you like the video, please make sure you're subscribed and thumb up the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And that is it for today. We'll see you all later.